Hello and welcome to video 6 in the self-hosted implementation of Omeka for Librarian series. Um, in this video we're going to enable the mod rewrite on the Apache server. Um, so we have now set everything up to the point uh, where we're almost finished. Uh, this, this will be the last step so um, let's get to it. The first thing we need to do, uh, we'll follow the Omeka instructions in sudo Oops, we want sudo a2 for Apache, oops, a2 for Apache 2, enable en mod, and then rewrite. Okay, and let's see how that goes. To activate the new configuration, you need to run, wow, so it worked. Um, Let's let's do what they're recommending here and do service Apache to restart. And um, it is asking for the library admin password, so P A S S W O R D authentication complete. Okay, so um, the fact that we're using the .ht access file um, means that we have to change something in the in the uh, Apache configuration files. Um, instructions out there for doing that are a little vague and kind of point you in weird directions. Um, so hopefully this this will be helpful. Um, what what we're going to do is we're going to change directories to uh, cd and then the etc um, dash apache2 slash sites dash available okay so now that we're here um, we'll list the contents so this is the the place that the Omeka instructions kind of send you to, um, you know, to to do the the default configuration file. Um, I've never quite been able to get it to work there. So kind of the workaround I've done is is to set things globally. Uh, so you know what what Omeka is showing you in the instructions, it doesn't look the same. In, in practice, um, and, and I'm not sure why. Uh, so I've I've been doing a workaround where I kind of do the settings globally as opposed to uh, for this specific site. And the fact that this is the only thing on the server uh, leads me to believe it's it's not a huge deal. I could be wrong, but um, in any case, th this is what I've been doing. So I change uh, change directory. Uh, just a dot dot to go back one directory to the Apache 2 directory and so now we can list the contents of this directory and you'll see that there's the Apache 2 configuration file this is what I'm going to edit um, and a lot of times if there's a problem with Apache um, the solution is somewhere in this configuration file so I'm going to sudo nano Apache and complete with tab and enter and so this is 221 lines um, let's see what we need to find is um, okay. so you can search a Linux uh, text file uh, by doing control W and it gives you a search box. So I'm just going to ask it to find follow sim links. And so it brings us brings us here. This isn't actually where we want to be. So what I'm doing is comparing uh, the um, uh, Omeka instructions to what I'm seeing here. And the Omeka instructions are 
telling me I need to look for this directory var www um, and indexes follow symlinks etc etc so I need to change this um, and here it is and what they're asking me to do is um, allow override for all okay and that should do it so we will um, control X and yes we want to save and enter and then um, the last thing the instructions are telling us to do there's a couple of way of, re of restarting um, Apache so a, for example up here when we did uh, service Apache to restart that's one way of restarting um, Omeka is giving us different directions that also works so let's just try those sudo etc init da dot d Apache to restart my understanding is this is the old way of doing it um, whereas the service Apache to restart is the new way um, I've found that when I've run into problems uh, oftentimes when I use this init d restart um, it works better so um, we'll hit enter restarting Apache 2 and okay so in theory we now have Omeka installed on our server and we have one last step to complete the installation and now we just want to open a browser um, and we want to check out um, I want to check out our IP address um, so enter and now uh, Omeka is asking us to configure our site so we're just about done um, so I'm just going to use the same username um, library admin and same password 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 and I'll just put in my university email we'll call it EOU Omeka and all of this other stuff is um, can be edited uh, within Omeka so I'm just gonna skip over it uh, and okay so now um, that it's a, a success we have two options we can either go to the public site or we can go to the admin dashboard um, let's first look at the public site it's pretty bare bones there's not much going on here um, we can browse by items browse by collections um, so this is you know pretty pretty basic install um, <clears throat> we can also go to the admin module uh, just by doing uh, after the IP address we can do admin or slash admin and enter and so now we can use the library admin username because this is what we used when we were setting things up when we first went to the IP address and uh, password and I just happen to use the same username as the server so um, log in and so here we are we're in the back end of our Omeka install and that pretty much that covers uh, everything I wanted to in this video um, I think in the next video um, I, I'm not sure I, we may do some more uh, we may do some customizations or I may uh, do parts of the actual production server that I'm installing on Debian um, that remains to be seen but uh, that video should be coming should be coming shortly so until then um, thanks for watching uh, if you have any questions or comments please post them in the comments below